Hi, today I'm talking about structured cabling system standards. Before I go into the standards, I want to take a minute to look at the definition of a standard. What does a standard mean? So if we look at ISO, ISO defines a standard as a formula that describes the best way of doing something. And IEEE defines a standard as an agreed upon norm used by people, industry and government that outlines the best way to complete a task. Standards are an important factor for every industry that will allow it to expand and grow nationally and internationally. Now let's go and look at the international standards that represent or that have standards referring or related to structured cabling system. So we have mainly four, the ISO, the IEC, the ITU, and the IEEE. Uh, ISO is the International Organization of Standardization. It is an independent, non-governmental international organization with members of 161 national standard bodies. Now here I want to know that there is also national standard bodies that also set standards, but we will not be talking about these in this presentation, like the NCTIA is very well known as one of the main standard bodies that sets structured cabling standards, but that's a national standard. It's a US national standard, and we will cover this in another presentation. The IEC is the International Electrotechnical Commission. Uh, this is the world's leading organization that prepares and publishes international standards for the electrical, electronic, and related technologies. Uh, the ITU is the International Telecommunication Union. It is the United Nations Specialized Agency for Information and Communication Technologies. Uh, they mainly allocate the global radio spectrums and satellite orbits, and they develop tel technical standards as well. Uh, as we see uh, for FTTH, there is a lot of standards in the pawn industry uh, developed by ITU. The IEEE is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. It's uh, the world's largest technical professional organization and dedicated for advancing technology for the benefit of humanity. Um, IEEE is based in uh, New York. Uh, the previous three are based in Geneva, Switzerland, but these four are all international uh, organizations and standard bodies that serve or in a way create standards related to communication and structured cabling, our topic today. ISO and IEC created the Joint Technical Committee, JTC1, in 1988. JTC1 is responsible for de developing standards related to information technology. Under JTC1, there's a lot of subcommittees and work groups. And the, J and, uh, the subcommittee uh, 25 is the committee responsible for interconnection of information technology equipment. And they are the subcommittee responsible for the standards that we'll be discussing now. One of the major standards for structured cabling is the ISO IEC 11801. It's for generic cabling for customer premises. The standards had a major revision released in November 2017. It unifies requirement for commercial, home, industrial networks. Uh, this revision replaced previous standards that were identified under different numbers like the 24702 and uh, 15018 and the 24764. And these were replaced by parts 3, 4 and 5 of the ISO IEC 11801. So now these standards all fall under the same number with different parts. Part 6, which is uh, distributed building services, was added in 2017. So now, we, when you go for generic cabling for customer premises, you can see that we have uh, the ISO IEC 11801 under six parts. Part 1 is for the general requirements, where they define the cabling standards, the different category of cables, fiber as well, single mode and multi-mode fiber performance. And then you have and the other parts, we they talk about the general cabling in office premises, industrial premises, in part three and part four about single tenant homes, and part five is for data centers. And the new part six is about distributing building services. 
ISO IEC 14763 is another series of standards covering the implementation and operation of customer premises cabling. Currently, there is three published parts covering planning and installation, testing of optical fiber cabling, and measurement of end-to-end -end links. Part 1 was replaced by Part 2 in 2012. And now the latest version of Part 2 issued in 2019 is the published version. And this covers the installation and operation of telecommunication cabling and cabling infrastructure, including uh, pathways, spaces, and telecommunication bonds. In detail, this covers the specification of installation, the quality assurance, the installation planning, installation practice, documentation, administration, testing, inspection, operation, maintenance, and repair of a cabling infrastructure. Part 5 of 14763 is not released yet, and it talks about the sustainability of cabling infrastructure, and it's due to be released in 2023. Another standard that is worth mentioning with the previous standards is the IEC 61935. This standard is developed by IEC and it talks about the testing of balanced twisted pearl and coaxial cables in relation to the ISO IEC 11801 standard. This ends our presentation for today. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Please subscribe to the channel and see you in future presentations.